what's new in the welding environment in ST8. Solid Edge has streamlined the process of creating weld beads within an assembly by providing you with powerful tools to help you get your product to market faster. Let's take a look at the work stand and see where we need to place some welds. What has changed with ST8 is the ability to create welds from within the part environment. So what we're going to do is create a part in place. Uh, I've got a, uh, a template here which is a part template. I'm just going to create my weld on this face and we'll give it a name. Okay, let's create a weld bead part between these two, between a couple of these faces here. The weld command within part is now under the fill, is under sweep, fillet weld. I'll select the uh, the rod there. We want to make that a three millimeter weld. Accept that, and then I want to select that whole part there. Select that, and preview our weld. Again, I want to create a weld, a small weld. Uh, on these items here. So again it's the same type of thing except this time I want to have a, uh, a one millimeter weld. Select that, that part and this one buried in here somewhere. That's that face set there and we have our welds. Uh, the beauty of this is we have complete control over our um, colors and mass properties and what have you. Uh, just let's change the colors here very quickly and return now to our uh, to our uh, top level assembly. The what we see here now is the uh, we've welded this part but if we zoom out a little bit zoom out we'll see we've got similar welds required on these other brackets. It's the same bracket that's replicated through the uh, through the assembly. Now with ST7 we provided the uh, the tool set to allow us to do that, a duplicate component. So let's uh, let's select that. We want to create our weld part there. Accept that. Uh, we want to base it on this component and then use the all matching occurrences of that component to apply the welds. It's a little bit like magic when that happens. So there we've replicated our welds through our entire part. One of the advantages of creating our, creating our welds as parts is not only do we capture the weld nomenclature, we also select the uh, we can select the mass properties, we can select colors and what have you. It uh, gives us a great deal more flexibility. Let's produce a drawing of this component uh, and a section view through here. Section cutting plane on here. Just a short one through there will be fine. And we need to have the section view itself off here about here and we can also while we're at it create a uh, a detail view of in here somewhere that will be fine about there as I mentioned we have um, the weld nomenclature applied to the part so to retrieve that all we need to do is to use our um, annotation tools for weld symbol and on our weld symbol command bar we've got a tighter geometry so it will pick the the detail of the weld directly from the geometry it makes it uh, very effective let's pick off this weld here there's a little one millimeter weld in there in here I think we've got a, a three millimeter weld and so on It'll pull all those. It'll uh, extract all that information. You only have to capture the the data once. The other thing that we can do, of course, uh, seeing we've got a um, we've got properties, is select a um, create a parts list. 
But on this parts list, we can detail our welds. And here's our uh, fixture welds that we created. There's four of those. They weigh 0.2 of a kilo, oh, oh, two of a kilogram each. Um, we've got a total weight in there um, because the resolution here is a bit low, but the, we've got a, a total cost. We can detail all of this sort of information. And of course, everything's associative. If we go back to our original uh, drawing and make a change, let's uh, edit the, uh, the welds here. Uh, this weld in particular, I think I remember that was a, uh, it's a three millimeter weld. Let's make that a six millimeter weld. Save that. Uh, and return, and return to our uh, drawing. It says that we're out of date. Yes, of course we are. And uh, let's update our views. There we go. And we can clear those instructions, but we see that that weld has changed. Solid Edge with synchronous technology keeps you ahead of the game during the, your design and detailing processes by providing you with the best tools and technology to get your job done right the first time.